Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you are unable to launch Warhammer Demon Hunters game or if you're facing crashing and freezing issue, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to restart your computer. So restart your computer, sometimes a simple restart takes care of the problem. So restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to verify the game file. To verify the game files, now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So go to Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to the local files tab then click on verify integrity of game files and after the verification launch the game now the next step is to disable steam overlay for this make a right click on the game select properties under the general tab uncheck the box which says enable the steam overlay while in game and now launch the game also close all the overlay applications so if you have discord running close discord now if you have ge force experience running close GE Force experience so make sure that you close all the overlay application also close all the overclocking applications so if you have MSI afterburner running close MSI afterburner now if you have reverb tuner running close reverb tuner so close all the overclocking application and launch the game now the next step is to perform clean boot for this type in system configuration in windows search box and then click on system configuration now go to the services tab and then put a check on the box which says hide all Microsoft services. So make sure that you put a check over here first and then click on disable all. In my case disable all is grayed out. I already did it. In your case this will be highlighted. So put a check over here then click on disable all. Then click on apply. Click on ok. You will see the restart option. Restart your computer and then launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. For this make a right click on the game select manage then click on browse local files it will straight away take you to the game installation folder now make a right click on the game exe file select properties and then go to the compatibility tab and then put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator put a check over here then click on apply ok now launch the game from here so make a double click over here and launch the game now the next step is to Install Visual C++ file for this. Copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Here you can see Visual Studio 2015, 17, 19 and 22. So download x86 and x64 version. So download these two files. So click on both the exe file and then run both the exe file. Now you will see the repair option or you might see the install option. So click on install or repair whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. Run the second file as well. Again click on repair or install whatever you see. Click on yes to allow. And let the installation complete. Now once the installation is complete you will see the restart option. So restart your computer and after the system restart launch the game. So click on restart, make sure both the installation are complete and then restart your computer. Now the next step is to do a clean installation of your graphics driver. So if you have NVIDIA card, go to NVIDIA website. If you have AMD card, go to AMD website. I am showing for NVIDIA. Go to NVIDIA website, select your graphic card from the list. Make sure that you select your graphic card over here and select the right operating system and then click on start search and then scroll down this is the latest driver click on get download and then click on download now now once the download is complete run this exe file now you will see this screen click on agree and continue and then put a check on the box which says custom and then click on next and then put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation then click on next and after the clean installation restart you can now the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program so if you have any third party antivirus make sure that you allow the game exe file to your antivirus program now if you're using windows security then go to the start menu then click on settings if you have windows 11 click on privacy and security if you have windows 10 click on update and security then click on windows security and then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the end you will find manage ransomware protection click on it then click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow Click on add an allowed app then click on browse all apps now go to the game installation folder so in your case if it is in c drive then go to c drive open 
steam folder first of all open program files x86 then open steam then open steam apps folder open common over here you will find the game folder in my case it's in d drive so steam folder steam apps common chaos gate and then select the game exe file then click on open once the game is added over here launch the game now the next step is to is for laptop users with dual graphic card so if your computer came with dual graphic card make sure that you are running the game on dedicated graphic card for this type in graphics settings in windows search box and then click on graphics settings now click on browse and then again go to the game installation folder steam steam apps common chaos gate select the game exe file click on add now once the game is added over here click on options select high performance then click on save now launch the game now the next step is to update your windows to the latest version so go to the start menu then click on settings click on update and security or windows update and then click on check for update once the update is installed restart the computer and then launch the game next step is to launch the game in window mode so if you are able to launch the game launch the game and then try to launch the game in window mode and lower down graphics settings now go to settings and then go to graphics now try to lower down the resolution so if you are using 4k resolution you can switch to hd so lower down graphic resolution now for few users exclusive full screen has worked so you can try exclusive full screen and then if that does not work you can select window mode and then turn off vsync you can also turn off motion blur and if everything is set to high or ultra so you can switch to medium or low so if it is set to high you can select medium or even low and then check the performance now the last step is to now the next step is to disconnect multiple monitors so in case if you have connected your computer to multiple monitor then disconnect all the multiple monitor try to launch the game on single monitor unplug all the external devices which you are not using so if you have these devices connected disconnect these devices and then launch the game if you have these software running close these software and then launch the game also end nahimic services so if you have asus computer so make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager to open task manager now in task manager if you have nahimic services running so find this services so if you find nahimic services select it and then click on end task in my case i don't have this service running but if you have asus computer you might see this service running so close this nahimic services also if you find lighting services select it and then click on end task in my case it's not there also remove undervolt so if you have undervolted your hardware make sure that you remove the undervolt and then launch the game the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to a different drive to uninstall the game go to steam make a right click on the game and then select manage and click on uninstall now after the uninstall go to the game installation folder delete the game folder then restart your computer and after the system restart install the game to a different drive so if you have another ssd or hdd try to install the game to a different drive and then check so one of the steps should help you to get the game running on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel